Freedom Day is coming, says Sean Richards, the political leader of the People's Action Movement. In an address to the nation following the 5th August 2022 announcement for general elections in St. Kitts and Nevis. The election comes three years before the scheduled date after the Team Unity coalition between PAM, CCM and PLP splintered when PAM and CCM withdrew their support for the PLP Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris. According to Richards, Dr. Harris abandoned the principles upon which the Team Unity administration was formed. The announcement of the date for general elections, as we know, was not voluntarily made, but forced out of a Prime Minister who has abandoned every principle upon which Team Unity was forged and built seven years ago. This occasion witnesses the most important general elections possibly in the history of our Federation and since the dawn of universal adult suffrage. The outcome will determine whether or not our Twin Island Federation reverts to the path of broken promises manipulation of the parliamentary system in an attempt to sustain undemocratic governance or continue along a path of uncertainty, subversion of the sovereign will of the people as we have experienced in these latter waning days of Prime Minister Timothy Harris or forge a future together based on solid principles, universal development of the state, respecting our institutions and providing a future of prosperity and fair share for all. The challenges of the times demand people-centered policies and the support for an inclusive society and good governance, said Richards, as he emphasized that Freedom Day is coming. When Dr. Harris announced August 5th as Election Day, in effect, he announced Liberation Day, and we, the people, under the banner of PAM and CCM, will, as certain as night follows day, march victoriously to freedom and liberation. We will not go back to either the unreformed Labour Party that is salivating at the thought of having access once more to the Treasury of the Federation or to Harris's maladministered adventure of the last few months. Pam and CCM have run a campaign based on substance over hype and agenda over rhetoric. As we move toward Election Day, I urge all citizens to keep a discerning mind, to distinguish between empty promises and real policies and opportunities. I call on you to continue the great match of our four parents who battled against enslavement and plantation exploitation, and naysayers and skeptics, and who laid the foundation for our modern state, which now finds itself at a crossroads. We can either go forward with Pam or backward with the others. The choice is clear. The time is now. The priorities are pressing. The upcoming elections not only involve the well-known traditional parties, but a few individual contenders could be registered on nominations day. Glenn Burt reporting for SKN Newsline.